Hello everyone and welcome back to Graphic Technology. If this is your first time being in this channel, you're welcome. Kindly like this video, subscribe and click the notification button so you know when a video is uploaded. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're always watching this tutorial videos, what are you waiting for? It's time to do so. Please subscribe. In this tutorial section, we'll be looking at chats. You will see how to create a chat, how to add chat legend, how to move chat to a chat sheet, how to change chat layout, how to add chat title, how to switch data, how to change the style of a chat, how to change chat type, and how to change chat colors using these data sets that we have here all right a chart gives a visual representation of numerical data that makes analysis of trends and data comparison easy and quick to appreciate you can see what we have here with a chart you will be able to appreciate what's happening so major kinds of charts are the pie chart, the bar chart, and column chart. You'll see how we'll be working with all of those charts in this tutorial. To create a chart, the first thing you need to do is to select the range of data you like to add or include in your chart. We're not necessarily going to be working with all of those data sets that we see here. The data should include both the numeric and the column, the column headings or row headings describing the data. All right. Now, to start in creating a chart using the set of data, I would have to select the range of data that I had. I like to include in this chat so first and foremost I would like I said the column headings and the row headings or column headings and the data set for this particular one I'm sure you would see that I have selected column headings as well as the row headings all right so this is the set of data I had like to work with in creating a chat and we'll be work creating a column chart. So hover your mouse to, if you're working with me, hover your mouse to where you have the insect tab, insect tab there, and by the charts group, you will see several kinds of charts that you might want to work with. Like I said, we're using the column chart and point your mouse to where you have the column chart. You can see insect column or bar chart click the drop down arrow and here you'll see range of charts different kinds of charts which is the 2d column 3d column um 2d bar and all of that we are working with we'll be using the 2d column and there are also different um, styles here if you point to where you have the picture there it tells you that it's clustered bar clustered column clustered column and that's what we'll be using clustered column so i click on that now i do have a chart all right the chart is appearing so when you have this you would see looking at this chart here i just need to increase this so you can see all right i think this is better Looking at this chart here, you would um, see that there are no charts legend. We do not have a legend. Okay, we do have a legend. A legend here is showing below. Here, you can change the chart legend either top or left or corner. To do that, while your chart is activated, by activation, it means that it's clicked. You can see. If I click on this other side, it's not activated, so you can't add any of those things. If you want to place a command on your chart, you need to click on that chart like I did. And 
a new chart um, tab appears called chart design as you can see over here that gives you different um, different shows you ribbons that you can play with or add different sections in your chart so we'll be adding or changing our chart legend here so to do so hover your mouse to where you have the chart layout and you would see add chart element click the drop down arrow and move to where you have the legend now this legend displays your legend at different aspects if you do not want legend you click on none if you want your legend to appear by the right hand side you can see how it's moving around then you click right if you want the legend to be at the top part you click the top if you want it to be by the left you can see how it's changing you click at the left and the bottom which was the default style but for this one we will use the right legend click on the right legend so at this point you can see we've moved our legend to be by the right hand side now while this chart is still activated like i did explain if i click there my chart is not activated if i click on it then i can apply commands to this chart i want to move this chart to somewhere else so it stops covering the data sets that i have there so you can actually move your chart to a chart sheet so to do so move and you will see where you have the location group you can see it there chat design the design the chat design tab only appears when your chat is selected like this now go to the location group and click on the move chat so the dialog box appears click this um, point new chat new sheet and type in best for let's type in best for the best for okay that is gonna be the name of the new new sheet now click ok now we do have or have successfully moved the chart to a chat sheet all right still you can see that this chat is still activated i will show you how to change the chat layout again why it's activated the chat design tab is still visible now to change the chat layout hover your mouse to where you have chat layouts you would see that button that says quick layout click the drop down arrow and of course here you will see different kinds of chat layouts while you hover around you see your chat changes and gives a new kind of design you can see what's happening all over there and it has its name this particular one says layout 4 let's work with the first layout layout 1 so I'll click on that you can see this chart has changed all right it's changed you can also scroll around to add title to your chart all you need to do is click on this part where you have chart title click on it and type in best just click once and type best for or enter what you like and press the enter key on your keyboard and you can see over there the title changes to best for click anywhere on the screen and that's what we have now we're talking about switch data to change what displays in the chart a switch can be made from row data to column data and vice versa all right to do that click on the chart activate the chart you can see if it's not activated i cannot see the chart design tab to work on so click on the chart 
by activating it. Now you can see that the chart design tab is now visible. Now hover your mouse to where you have the data group over there. And this button says switch rows slash column. That's all you need to do. You click on the button. You can see the chart changes that switch data does moved around or swapped the data in the chart okay so let's take it back by taking and using and uh, leaving it at the default stuff that we have earlier okay the next thing i'd like to show you is to how is how to change the style of a chart how to change the style of this chart to do that again click anywhere on the chart and go to the chart design now you can see we do have different stuffs there go to where you have the chat styles and click the more arrows here if i point to the first one it tells me style one and you can see the view which gives you a preview of what it looks like in your chart so let's move around and choose the style eight all right so you can see how you can successfully change your chat styles now you can also change your chat type like you know that we are working on the column chat this is a column chat you can change column chat to a bar chat to do that again move your mouse while the chat is selected move Hover your mouse to where you have the chat type group, the type group, and click on the button that says chat, change chat type. Okay, over here, because we want to change to the bar chat, click the bar chat. And here we have different kinds of bar charts. This is clustered bar, stacked bar, 100% stacked bar. And here we do have 3D clustered bar. That's what I want to use. So I'll just click on that. Okay. You can see there are two different kinds with the color changes. But I like to remain on what we do have there. So I'll leave it at that and click OK. You can see we do have or have successfully changed the The, bar, um, the chat from column chat to a bar chat. All right, so I will take you through how to change chat colors. To do that, just move your cursor to any of the uh, the bars, the chat bars there. It could be any of those ones, but let's work with the blue bar that we have here. To change the color of the blue bar, right click on it and you would see this um symbol here called the fill button click on that um, arrow and you will see different colors here is the team colors you can choose any color that um, suits the projects that you're working on could be any stuff or you can work with the standard colors let's apply the standard colors red and see what it looks like or green let's work with green okay so this is how you can change any of those bars okay let's work with this gray one right click on it right click and you will see okay see what happened it moved up to move to the top part and choose the yellow from the standard colors you can change it to yellow okay this is what happens when you want to change you can change any of the bars to what best suits your preference it could be that you're working on a project and you want the colors in your chat to tell your story or to link to the theme of your project so that's how you can actually change the chat colors okay so that's it for this tutorial but before i round up there are other stuff you can do 
with your chat that we didn't get to talk about so i'll just take you through those aspects by clicking on the chat so i can go to the chat design over here chat layouts add chat elements talking about the chat elements here you might want to work with x and y as its title so this is where you get it no x and y as its title is here where you have the primary horizontal primary horizontal you would see in the chat where you can put your x as its title and this aspect you can see what happens in the chat you can put your y as its title and key in what you want to be there and the chat title you can add chat title from this aspect your chat title can be above or center centered overlay you can also delete the chat title if you don't want it you can see what's going on why i the preview it's showing you a preview of what it looks like okay that's what it looks as like. centered overlay that's what it's gonna look like and here where we have the data labels right now we do not have any data labels if you want to put a data label see what happens in the chat that's what data level does data call out okay if that's what you want in your chat you can do that and here we have the data table we don't have this chat currently doesn't have any data table but you can add with legend keys that's what it looks like and no legend keys that's a little bit different the different it gives now you can add grid lines to your chart okay so primary major horizontal that's what it looks like you see the preview in the chart and here primary major vertical if that's what you want primary major horizontal that's what your chart is going to look like and here we have primary minor vertical so these are grid lines different grid lines you may want to use while creating your own chart okay of course we've talked about the legend and what it looks like all right so that brings us to the end of this tutorial all right about chats okay um please kindly drop your comment in the comment sections below and let me know what um video tutorials you want me to make and do not forget to click the like button very important and subscribe